So today on um, HSV H3, we're going to be changing out the uh, rear leafs. So um, these are from ARB and uh, they're the old man EMU heavy duty rear leaf springs, uh, supposedly 20 mil lift on stock. Um, those of you that follow the H3 HSV uh, know that it's leaf over and fairly much um, standard rear springs, but they've uh, copped a bit of a hiding over the last 150,000 k's and a lot of off-road. So um, time for an upgrade. So uh, stay tuned. So I thought while I'm here, I'll go over a couple of points on the leaf over. So look, and the leaves themselves. So one of the things I really didn't like about the the standard leaves is the wrap on the front um you know the new leaves that are going in have more of a military type wrap um but going back to the leaf over as you can see we eliminated the original uh boxes that you can see the welds back here where they were so i'm just trying to get the light as best we can so that's where the original hanger box was and anyone with a h3 knows they sort of come down to there so um, quite a big front box that i used to hang up on quite often off road so you know we've uh, eliminated that and put in a much smaller hanger at the front which uh, you know if you look from a side profile uh, doesn't hang down very much more than the slider so maybe uh, inch inch and a bit below the slider so that made a big difference off-road in regard to um, clearance. Then, as you can see, the other thing unique, I guess, about these springs, being they were factory springs, you can see there was a adder leaf or, or leaf helper on, uh, on that. And you'll see we cut open the, um, the leaf holders so that um, the vehicle could, could articulate further so we've got a lot more flex out of the uh, standard shocks um, at one point i did have them re-bent um, you know to give me a little bit of adjustment on height but uh, they pretty much fairly quickly went back to about the stock height now interesting part here people ask what's going on um, we put a bump stop in down the bottom and um, then we sort of worked out uh, just by chance that a coilover spring fit directly over the top of that bump stop. So um, for towing um, or for better road handling when we're doing a lot of on-road stuff, that just simply screws in. Um, you can just generally flex the car up somewhere and, and um, take that in or out. Uh, basically, to uninstall it, we just turn that and it screws out. There's one uh, screw welded, uh, one bolt welded into the bottom, and there's a nut on the bottom of the bump stop. And basically, just screw it in and out as needed. So I'm going to pull that out now. Um, we will be going to airbags on this because um, the type of work we'll be doing with the truck, we're going to be doing a bit of touring. So um, the airbags are a little bit easier to live with on a daily basis. Um, when we're touring. So. Quite a fine thread. And that's basically it. So you can see uh, down there, sorry, bad camera angles here. Um, you can see the stud there that um, we put in the middle. And obviously on the bottom of the, the bump stop there, um, it has an inbuilt uh, nut that screws onto that. So going back to the, the leaf over, the, um, the standard is, re uh, the rear is standard, sorry. Uh, nothing's changed there. Um, the leaves themselves, as we said, we um, took away the retainer over the top there and um, basically welded a perch 
onto the rear axle after cleaning up everything from the old setup um, and basically located that um, over the top so it wasn't uh, a massive job to do the leaf over um, we did have to you see at the top we had to um, create something for the decent for the bump stop to um, to sit on but uh, all in all it wasn't a um, overly hard job to convert it to the leaf over so I'll leave you there well, I've got to remove the old spring here so a bit clearer picture now I've got the wheel out of the way uh, of course left the uh, rattle gun at home so I got to do these by hand and uh, they're quite a fine thread and of course I can't get a socket on it I haven't got one long enough um, in a 24 mil uh, so I've got the fun times of um, taking all the way up the extra long thread that I have been going to cut off and make shorter I don't know about a hundred times anyway that's what you get for uh, not finishing your job Here's the uh, new spring in, a bit hard to film and work at the same time, um, but uh, it's in place, so I just have to get the bottom to line up, so I think the easiest way to do that is put the wheel back on, so I can uh, make the axle wheel forward for it to drop into the location pin, but uh, all in all, not, a, not too difficult a job. Uh, I'll film again once I have it completely finished. Right, here we go, all installed. Look at the military wrap at the front. Um, it's still pretty much the same as the, the old one. Um, just a lot heavier duty spring. I've taken it for a drive and um, the height settled down. I was a bit worried to begin with because it was uh, pretty high in the back. But after a drive, it settled down to the perfect height um, to match the front. So really stoked with that. Um, some of you might know that uh, I've got to upgrade the, the front springs. I'm running uh, probably about four inch preload and the top springs are a little bit soft at 150 pounds. Uh, they're bunching up a bit. So we're uh, waiting on a set of 200s, uh, but we're not going to change the height. We're just going to um, fix that bunching up so it rides a bit better. But height wise, I'm stoked. Took it for a drive and um, incredible difference. Um, compared to the old ones where the bushes were flogged out, the back end was all over the road. Now it's um, yeah, quite comfortable, drives really nice. So there you go, the, uh, the old man emu from ARB versus the standard ones. Um, I'll review them, yeah, give it uh, six months or so and I'll let you guys know if I think they're worth the money. But um, pretty reasonable $610 Australian for the pair. Um, so, you know, not too bad. I don't think that's expensive, really. Um, Australian made, so great stuff. All right, till next time.